Hi guys, Kelly here with another guest design team project for Star Crafters and I'd like to start by saying that following this video there will be a start to finish because I did film myself making this but I just wanted to bring you one of these videos because sometimes I know not everyone enjoys the start to finishes and they like to see people talking about them. So here we go, this is the Star Crafters 4 drawer chest. Um, so this comes flat packed and I built this all and then I painted all around the edges with two artiste acrylic paints one in baby blue and one in blush pink I used the baby blue for the main frame and two of the drawers and then two of the drawers I did in the blush pink excuse me there we go and I actually turned the drawers back to front because Sar does make them with these handles but I wanted to use some of Sar Crafters metal handles so I actually turned the drawers back to front and they do work better than I'm showing you, I've just got one hand so I used the Tilda Country Escape paper and oh my goodness I am actually in love with this paper, it is just divine um, I also used some of the cutouts from the paper collection so if we start at the front here, these handles are from Star Crafters and they come in bronze and I gessoed them and then I used some Lindsay Stamp Gang sprays on those and I'll tell you which sprays they were in the start to finish video because I don't have them out now. Um, and then I adhered those, that's obviously once I'd, I'd assembled the four draw cabinet. This is one of Star Crafters wood numbers and I've painted that in the same pink. I have a bead spray here. This is one of Star Crafters sentiment bands and it says life is good and then I've got just a flower cluster here. The majority of my flowers are from Wild Orchid Crafts, uh, some come from Craft Supplies 1 and some come from a local art store. Then down at the bottom here, as I'm hoping you can see, I've used a number of these little birds and they're from Star Crafters and again they were painted with gesso and then they were sprayed with the same Lindy sprays that I used elsewhere. Then on this handle here, I've put the uh, Star Crafters wooden camera just onto that handle just to give it something a bit extra and special to look at. Then I'm going to turn to this side. So on this side, I've used the Star Crafters large wooden bicycle and I've used some Lindy sprays on that and then I used a bit of paint as well. I have a cutout from the paper collection here, there's a doily behind and what I've done for the paper is I've put one paper down first and then I've torn and ripped and curled another paper and put it over the top and I've done that all over the chest. So that is that side, let me just show you the back quickly guys. So that is the back, the back is papered as well as the bottom and I've just put some little um, glass feet on the bottom. Then if I turn you to the other side, I've just done a bit of a flower cluster going up there. This is a Star Crafters wooden hand that I've sprayed, another um, bead spray. Then there's another one of those little birdies down there and a Star Crafters heart sentiment that says dream big. So that is that side and then it's all sort of flowing through so if you can see this goes round so it starts here, it goes up and round up to here. And then at the top, let me see if I can take you up. Bear with me guys, I don't want to make you too dizzy. Right. So at the top here, I've used another number of Star Crafters items. So I've just got some Wild Rocky Craft flowers here. Another one of those birds. Star Crafters telephone. Then in this flower spray here, I've used the Star Crafters cherub, which again, I painted with gesso and then sprayed. Then I have the X and the O, the wood X and O's from Star Crafters. There's a fleur de lis from Star Crafters back here, a little wooden house over here, and under here there is a wooden, like a, a lamp post, and then some more cutouts in the paper line, and some more flowers and wild orchid craft embellishments. So that, guys, is a very rough idea of what I've done. As I said, please stay tuned for the start to finish video and I'll give you a lot more details. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you very soon. Stay tuned. Bye. Okay guys, I'm starting here with the start to finish video and what I'm doing is just assembling the four drawer chest and I'm actually using Fabri-Tac to do this and as you can see I line all the pieces up a little bit like a jigsaw puzzle and then I begin sticking them together. 
Where you can see me rubbing my finger along the inside, that's just so that I don't have any lumps of glue or anything horrible left on the inside there. So once the cabinet itself is all together, I then start on the drawers and as again you can see, they're laid out a little bit like a jigsaw puzzle and I go around and put glue on all the tabs and then begin adhering all the drawers together. While everything's drying I start um, measuring up for my paper and I'm using the Tilda Country Escape paper for this project and oh my goodness I absolutely love it. It definitely has to be my new favourite, it's absolutely stunning. So I'm just cutting uh, all the pieces to the right sizes to fit around the chest. Once everything's dry, I begin to uh, cover the whole entire chest and the drawers in a coat of gesso. Once the gesso's dry, I then go in with my paints and I'm using Artiste paints by Dodo Crafts, one in baby blue and another one in blush pink. And I use the baby blue for the chest itself around the edges because obviously I'm papering the rest and I paint the entire inside. I also use the baby blue for two of the drawers, but I do two of the drawers in the blush pink just to give it a bit of a contrast. While they're drying I go back to my papers and I begin distressing around the edges of every single piece of paper with the Tim Holtz distress tool. Next you can see the lovely contrast of the colours on the drawers and now I'm getting ready to adhere my papers down. I use a Lean's tacky glue to do this and I put the tacky glue directly on the paper and then I spread it out with my finger. I then press it down with some tissue paper onto the chest to make sure that it's very well adhered. a very small gap around the paper, approximately an eighth of an inch, so that you can just see that beautiful blue colour that I've painted around the edges.
see, once all the papers adhered to the chest, I go ahead and start adhering the paper to the front of the drawers. This is actually the back of the drawers, but what I've done is flip them around back to back so that I can use some of the beautiful Star Crafters handles on the front of my drawers rather than the pull holes that Star creates them with. Next is use a second sheet of paper over the top of the original sheet of paper that I put down on the chest and what I'm doing here, and I'm sorry I got a little bit off frame, is just tearing that piece of paper and ripping tears in it and curling them back and it's just to give a bit of an extra added effect on the side of the chest, both sides and the top, just so that you can see both of the papers and both of the colours peeking through and I think this gives a really really pretty finished effect to the finished product. that I've ripped off of the chest um, to add to the pink on the drawers just to give the drawers the same effect as the side of the chest. adhering the final piece of paper and that's to the bottom and I've left that till last just so that it didn't get dirty or anything because I had paints and stuff around. Then I'm going to use some glass beads on the bottom as feet and I just stick them on with some glossy accents and I have to leave them a good few hours to dry. drying I start spraying my Star Crafters bronze handles and what I actually did with these but I did it off camera was cover them in a layer of uh, just two layers of gesso first to get the white color then the Lindsay stamp gang sprays that I'm using here are whale watch blue salt water taffy and hotty patotty hot pink I also use a tattered angels chalkboard spray and that is in teal high heel then what you can see me doing now is beginning to prepare some of my wood elements from Star Crafters store and I prepare them by covering them in a coat of gesso. Now it's time to adhere the handles down to the drawers and I use E6000 to do this. But at this point they are fully dry um, and ready to go. While they're drying, I get out well, all the wood pieces from Star Crafters store and there'll be a product list in the description box below and I start preparing them. I prepare all of these gorgeous wood pieces by covering them in gesso, ready to paint and spray later once they're dry. I use the two paints that I used earlier, so the blush pink and the baby blue, to paint some of the items. And I use the sprays that I used earlier for the handles to spray some of the items. This is really good fun because this means that everything ties in really well together with the project with the colours on the chest.
items to dry, I get out some other items from Sarcraft's store and I have a small cherub and some little birds and I'm covering those in gesso just so that my sprays will adhere quite nicely to them. Here I am going in with my sprays and again the same sprays as I used earlier and I dry them with a heat gun. dry it's time to start embellishing my project and the majority of the flowers I use are from Wild Orchid Crafts however some of them are from Craft Supplies One or my local arts and crafts store and I'm, as you can see here I'm starting by embellishing the, this front of the drawer. I use one of the Sar Crafters pieces there which says life is good and just tuck that behind some flowers. Then I add one of the little birds to the top I used a wood number three which I painted there and added a couple of beads to and a wheat spray on the other drawer above. Here I'm starting on the side and I apologise that quite a lot of this went slightly out of frame so you'll see this a lot better in the still photos and I do end up using a lot of the pieces that I prepared but not all of them. There you can see me putting at the top the little hand, which is a wood item from Sarcrafter's store, which we sprayed earlier. What I'm doing slightly off screen is just beginning to adhere down some flowers at the bottom, and again, I apologise for that. I've moved it up a little bit but you still can't see very well but at the bottom of the frame there you can see one of those little birds from Sarcrafter's store which I've adhered to the side. Now we've moved to the top of the box and I'm back in frame and I'm starting with the cherub and I'm just placing some flowers around the cherub and trying to work out where to put things. I've got one of the little fleur de lis up there as well and I also plan on using the wooden X and O on this part of the project. That's the fleur de lis there and a fabric flower I'm adhering to the side and I'm just adhering the cherub on now. There are the X and O and I adhere those down with Fabri-Tac. Then I use the little house and adhere that down there as you can see. Then to the little cluster on that side I use three flowers and I use the little wooden telephone that we painted earlier. doing here is just picking out the loose glue with a scalpel because I don't like the glue strings. Here I'm adding the Sarcrafters uh, lamppost just to the side of my cluster there. I'm adding a few more flowers around the top and cascading down the side just to make everything flow and tie together quite well. And there's another one of those little birds there. Now I'm using some cutouts from the paper um, that are already fussy cut out for you and I'm just adding them in places around my cluster just to tie everything together. Here I'm working on the other side and I couldn't tip this up because we'd already adhered a load of stuff to the other side so unfortunately you can't see very much of this but you'll be able to see it a lot better in the still photos. And once this side's finished it about completes my project. On this side, or as you can see when I tipped it up there, the main focus is the big Sarcrafter wooden bicycle.
adding a few more of the paper cutouts all over the piece to tie everything together. Then eventually I use the Sar Crafters photo camera which you saw me paint earlier and add it over the front of that handle at the front and that completes the project. Thank you very much guys for watching, please stay tuned for the still so you get some more information and get to see things a bit clearer and I'll see you again very soon. Thanks guys, bye!